coming up on this episode of Free Lunch. And it's easier sometimes mm. to walk away than to face your issues. A right. lot. And, and I respect the my king. Are Listen. you tithing into your marriage? <laughs> <laughs> Are you putting 10% that part. That part. At into least. the storehouse? Yeah, that part. We operate in survival mode. Right. We do right. a lot of normalizing trauma. We really mm. do. And mm. then even when it's time to acknowledge the trauma, it comes with guilt. Mm-hmm. Yo, that's, that's a fine... Mm-hmm. How do y'all do that? Mm-hmm. that? Like, how do you not scratch and tear up our ego? I think that people had to face their issues. And it's easier sometimes to walk away than to face your issues. A right. lot of people brush things under the rug and they feel like if we don't talk about it, it doesn't exist, right? right? But meanwhile, in your subconscious, you're making decisions, you're moving a certain way, all because of how you feel, that you haven't expressed the issues that you haven't brought forth. And so now when you get in a space where you don't have an outlet, you don't have anywhere to go. You can't brush it under the you, rug. You can't be distracted with just going to the right. workplace. Absolutely. Because mm-hmm. the workplace right. shut down. Absolutely. Or anywhere else. If, like, you got to think of how many distractions. Exactly. There, wow. there the are. The gym. Wow. Right. You know, work. Like, right. You, I mean, the grocery store, yeah, right. you might maybe yeah. go to the grocery right. store. But yeah. even at some point, that it wasn't anything on the shelves. Yeah. So, wow. literally, you're forced to deal with those issues and... Like anything that's hard, right? Um, if you have a difficult time talking and trying to work through it, it's, it's, it just seems easier to leave. Yeah. And that's where a lot of people found themselves yeah. during the pandemic. Um, I will say for me, for me, <laughs> uh, I love the king. I had a very hard time, not with the marriage, not with the marriage. I just had a hard time period, right? Mm -hmm. Because I am everything in one space, right? And so for me, a lot of people, their jobs, you know, shut down. For me, because of the market, I ended up working 17 hour days for two months straight. Wow. Because I had to deal with Europe market and I had to deal with US market. And literally the company was on the verge of like a lot of other companies um, and with some liquidity issues due to the market. And my sole purpose was that I did not want our company to be in a position where when we came out of this, some of the decisions that were made during that time would like, we would be in a really tough space. Right. So 17 hour days. So for the marriage, the marriage was the easiest thing. You might've had to pull from, what was in the account? Exactly, exactly. From the storehouse. Literally. And so, and and and, and, and I respect the my king. Are Listen. you tithing into your marriage? <laughs> <laughs> Are you putting 10% that part. That part, at into least. the storehouse? Yeah, that part. Yeah. And so what my king recognized, and this is very important for, you know, kings out there and you're trying to figure out what is needed. You need to know your spouse. The king recognized that I needed an outlet. And the king we, built we, me. We saw that. We caught a glimpse yes. of that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He built me a she room. And I, you know, I literally. She room. A she room. That's, and it's my it. place and of yes, peace. I did build it. With for, his hands. For those, for those. Bare hands. He that, did that build out it. There questioning. <laughs> yes. Went, it did not lumber. come on a trailer. It no, did it did not. not. No, it was This not was a, a DIY. Oh. It was, it was this definitely, was yes. Pulling okay. out yeah. the tools, getting it, getting it done. The studs Damn. and everything. So. I, I want to make sure we have enough time to uh, jump into a little bit about this book. Ah, the book. Um, yes. Now, what's interesting, this is books like this that I've come across in the past. Is I haven't seen such mm. a collective of, what, 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 what would you refer to? To you guys as on the uh, co-authors so we're co-authors yeah co-authors so mm-hmm. um queen austin here with us is one of the co-authors of bless not broken available right now yes wherever books are sold yes and What's, if you want an autograph copy you know plug 
So, right. so tell them where they can get the autograph one from. www.grantaustin, G-R-A-N-T-A-L-S-T-O-N.com. All right. You can order right from the website, and you will get an autographed, personalized copy. Yeah. So the part, now, I don't know if this was like, because, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a lyricist. I'm a words mm. person. <laughs> I like that the piece you co-author, because, again, your, your, your last name is Grant Austin. Mm-hmm. Your, your piece is titled Granting mm. Grace to Self. Mm. Was that like purposeful right there? It, uh, yeah. The, the grant, it was. Austin, the granting it was. grace to self. Okay. I was just, you know, because it jumped out at me. <laughs> Being, like I said, the wordsmith, you know, I am. All right. Stay purposeful. Stay purposeful. Oh, always, always. <laughs> the section of uh, the book Granting Grace to Self, mm-hmm. you give a little bit of your backstory. You come from growing up in Hartford, projects, mm-hmm. whatever. A lot of which. I didn't, I didn't know about at all. So it was really eye-opening there. Deaf word, worth the read. Don't want to rob our audience of that. Please go out and get your copy to see this amazing. She really makes, she's the kind of individual where you have a certain situation or a season that you might go through in your life, kind of trip you up or feel like, dang, now I can't dot, 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 mm. or what have you. And then you read a story like Queen Austin, and you go, "Stop playing, man!" Mm, right? Like, mm. like because right. she was transparent and vulnerable enough with her story, she can lit a flame in somebody else and go, "No, I can't. Absolutely, I can't." So I love that about this piece. But then you go into like you start off actually before you even get into like. Your, your backstory a little bit, you start off with kind of this like discourse you share with the audience in your mind. Mm-hmm. And when I read that part, I, was, I instantly heard my wife. <laughs> and I said, that's my wife. Mm-hmm. But then what was even more dope and just what made me just light up when uh, the 6ix9ine King Austin mm-hmm. <laughs> and I met face to face for the first time today what made me just light up and just be so enamored with him. Um, and you know how you, you know you say your reputation precedes you? So mm, mm. What I got to hear in her thought process on paper and then how she shared your interaction and response, I went from seeing my wife and her and then I saw me and you. Yeah. And yeah. I go, that's, that's a real one right there. Yeah. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. a real one because that's me and then that's her. Yeah. And that symbiotic relationship, that balance one another, being able to have eyes to see. Mm. Yes. Yes. Mm. You, yes. That's dope. You got to have eyes to see your wife. Yes. I see you. Even hit when that, we hit that don't. that drop button. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Talk to this man. Mm-hmm. You got to have eyes. You got to got eyes to see. Even when we don't see. Right. Right. That, that's. That's a divine connection. Right. Even is. when we don't That's see, crazy. we don't recognize, right? Your king, your spouse, the person that you are sharing your life with, your soul intertwined. Yeah. They can see yeah. you. And a true king, right, as such as these kings here, is going to react or be proactive to ensure that you are well before you even know that you need anything. And that is what's so profound about your kingdom, right? That That's the type, that's the level of connection that every marriage should be striving for because those are the things that they don't come in a manual, right? They come with being inter- interconnected, being... Um, transparent and vulnerable and having different discussions so that as my king, you're my protector, or as your queen, you know, I'm your eyes and your ears, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, right right in the, the chapter, it was a level of vulnerability. It was a level of vulnerability. And then also, you know, I had to respect my king to say, do you want this shared, right? Because... Um, some people will look at that and they're like, Dad, you know, he's a good dude and so mm-hmm. forth, but he's so humble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so 
humble. So it's just the gentle, like the gentle giant. The gentle giant. Yeah. And then he'll tell you he's grizzly bear and all this other stuff or whatever. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know, but, you know, I had to respect if he wanted that shared because of his humility, not because yeah, he did yeah. anything wrong. No, he did everything right yeah, and yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. Right? But just respect how humble he is. Um, I think that we tend, especially as women, we carry so much that we don't even realize. We don't it. even know. It's natural. We don't even, right. Because, you know, our whole, we operate in survival mode. Right. We do right? a lot of normalizing trauma. We really mm. do. And mm. then even when it's time to acknowledge the trauma, it comes with guilt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? It comes with guilt and not and not empathy right. or sympathy for mm-hmm. what we've encountered. It comes with guilt of, well, you know, if... Uh, my grandmother went through all of that and still was able to cook a meal and yeah. right, do this. You know, right. it comes with so with much. More, with more kids than me, At right? That part. It, like, it'll be wow. that. You exactly. Know? And so um, you you need a partner. You need a spouse. You need a, a king, a queen, whoever it is to see you, even when you can't see yeah. yourself because mm. it's deep. Yeah. It is and I'll deep. also add here, like, to be eyes to see and ears to hear. Like, there are times... Even for, you know, free, like he can hear what I'm saying, even when if I'm, I'm not saying it that part. or I'm not being clear because I'm embarrassed that about part. it. Yep. And he will be able to take what I'm saying and hear it and go, this is what we're going to do. Right. Or I know what you need. Right. Or let go. I got it, mm-hmm. you know, and sometimes, again, us being the lioness, us being like that, like we're a part of the home. We have so much. Right. We feel like we're stepping down from our position mm-hmm. or we're letting our position down, which means we're letting our guard down, which means who can now get into the kingdom. Right. right. If if now the queen is down. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Mm. And already what you see what your head, the responsibility that your head has, Mm -hmm. now taking that and putting it on him. Because I I also think as wives, we find joy and pride in mothering and being a wife, you know, and being a part of the kingdom and playing our position. Exactly. We find passion passion in that, you Mm -hmm. know, and truth in that. But it can be really hard to take a step back and look at yourself and take care of yourself and then look at your Very husband difficult. and go, can you hold, can you hold me up in this, mm. in this season? Right. Mm-hmm. Asking for that help. Mm-hmm. And Asking I'm, I'm having help. to experience that same vulnerability now mm-hmm. with you. Just as you said, sometimes it's like you, you, you're, you're worried about if I take this step back, that it somehow makes me look bad if I reflect on my grandmother did it with umpteen kids or mm-hmm. whatever. Um, I think that feeling could be even stronger sometimes as a as a man, and f- you know, absolutely feeling like you're the yeah. head of the home. Right. Absolutely. And now with just the smallest mundane activities, like I went to, I tried to help my wife out with the bathroom yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day Friday. before? And then. My whole palm mm. and forearm was like tight. Yep. Dang, I'm not gonna be able to help do this, or you know, I'm gonna need her to do this. Just even the normal, like carrying stuff from the car. Yep. I'm gonna run out to the car, and I'm grabbing. I'm doing all I can with my left hand, mm-hmm. and then you know, I go to grab and take something from the wife. Like this is it's automatic in my brain. Absolutely. To take something from her with my right hand. Yes. And I'm hearing the wife. No, Christopher, I got don't, it. Don't nope. right. and, and, and in my head, it's like, it's such a, a phenomenon because at, at the same time, you have my wife also seeing me in that vulnerable space yes. and not wanting not wanting to harm my ego. Right. Yes. Yes. But right. also wanting to make sure she's protecting she's protecting me. me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how do I tote that fine line as a wise wife mm-hmm. and now activate my insight Absolutely. to go this is the extent I'm going to let this man move 
And this is where I'm going to draw the line and say, baby, I got it. Understand. And that's her Go walking rest in her king. kingdom. Mm-hmm. That's her walking in her Yo, kingdom. Yo, that's, that's a fine. Mm-hmm. How do y'all do that? <laughs> that? Like, how do you not scratch and tear up our ego and at the same time make sure it's, it's all right? Like, I respect that I know that got to be difficult. Mm-hmm. So even when my wife gets it wrong, I have grace. Good. I'm happy you know what that I mean? you said that. Because I know it's hard. Because sometimes it's not necessarily getting it, it, it wrong. It's wanting the best, right? So, like, if the if the king is down and I'm telling him not to do something and naturally. To, to have a seat. <laughs> he's, he, he does it, right? My first reaction may be frustration um, as opposed to compassion. Right. Right. And so if my first reaction is frustration and that comes out, right, then grace is needed because it's not that I'm I'm upset with you It's that I want the best for you. Right. And if you're not listening, you're conflicted. Exactly. I'm not mad at you. Exactly. I'm conflicted. Exactly. Right. You you have me in this conflicted mo- right. moment. Right. Yeah. And then it's and it's really like, OK, right. I, I know that you lead in that manner. But I need you to take a step back yeah. so that when you come back, you can you can assume the position on your throne. Right. That's exactly. it. Because it's just really let me walk as your queen and and I am going to protect you. Remember, I move when I need to. I sit still when I need to. So if I'm moving accordingly. Let me do that. Exactly. Let me do that. So that's, and that's even like with us in this time, right? Like he, he sees where I go sit down. I go take a nap when I need to take a nap. (laughs) You know, I, I take off of work where I need to take off of work. I settle the kids or get whatever, just so he could even see and feel okay to go. All right. I got to let, I got to let you do this. Yeah. You know? Wow. Well, respect to y'all. Respect to y'all. I see you. Nah, respect to I y'all. See you, I ladies. see y'all, ladies. It's, see it's y'all. difficult. Yeah. It's difficult, Thank but I see you. Now, as it pertains to this is this is not is this your first yes. co-authoring? So this is my first but, book, period, and I okay. am and that's the bless the bless not broken volume one volume one yes and I, I I'm I'm assuming that's speaking to. The, the subsequent volumes, y'all. That's, yeah, that's there are up. there are so many volumes. So the visionary, Miss um, Tamara Mitchell Davis, um, I I may be wrong, but I think she's on her fourth or fifth. Shout out to to Tamara Mitchell Davis. Can we can we can we give her a quick plug? plug? Where can we find her? Where can we find her at? Oh my goodness! So you can find her on Facebook at Tamara Mitchell Davis. Um, she is the CEO wife, and so she's on Instagram as the CEO wife as well as. Uh, Facebook as the CEO wife, and she has a Facebook group. If you are an inspiring author or you have written a book and you want to take your book and turn it into a business, she is, when I say she's the GOAT, she is the, she's GOAT. the GOAT. And wow. so her Facebook page is Pen to Profit. Um, Mm. Pen to Profit. I I can remember Pen that. Pen to Profit. Pen to Profit. And then yes. this writers the, group. Pen to Profit writers group. Is the yep. the website the CEO the CEO wife dot com. Yes. CEO wife dot com. Yep. That will probably get us to everywhere else and anywhere else. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Facts. Facts. So she 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 had this vision to bring together ten wives, all entrepreneurs, right? All parents, all African American women. Wow. Peep that. Right. To tell our stories about our trauma and how we turned our pain into purpose. Mm. And wow. because she's just that dope, we were number one in 10 categories when we launched. And we launched in the middle of a pandemic. That part. Talk about it. Wow. So she definitely, yeah. um, you know, she, 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 I will give her her flowers all day because she did her thing and she is yeah. still doing her thing. And shouts out to the queen for closing out the book. That's <laughs> yes. Another, that's that's fine. Thing. That part. <laughs> that part. Blessed, not broken. The CEO wife.com. Go there, get plugged in. You have a service that you offer where people could click and schedule a certain time mm-hmm. a day, right? Yeah. And have with you 
what you call a discovery call. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Could you walk us and the listeners mm-hmm. through uh-huh. what actually happens when an individual sets up a discovery call with, is that just with the, with the queen? No, it's with, it's, that's it's with, with the, the kingdom. King. It's with the kingdom. With the so yeah. when we set up a discovery call with the Austin kingdom, what happens? So our discovery call is for us to allow the client to tell us what their needs are, right? So that we can understand what they're seeking. So Austin Kingdom is a social lifestyle brand. And what we inspire to do is one, show just the world that first of all, um, successful black marriages exist. Mm, talk <laughs> um, about it. And we're also partners in business. Right. So not only are we married, but we're business partners. So there's a whole different dynamic that goes with that. Yeah, talk about towing the line. (laughs) That's another episode. That's a whole. You guys may me take my earrings. (laughs) The Austin Kingdom may be frequenting several episodes after this, but 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 when you say they the client tells you what they need, what they need, what they need, what's the context of that because that's really no. broad so no, is, is absolutely. this a is this a i'm telling you what i need because i the client am trying to be a entrepreneur or is this a person that is you know if i i, I don't want to own a business no, no, no. No. i'm absolutely. calling because um i what i need is i need a, a better relationship with my marriage like what's the the what are the parameters so we service we service individuals who are looking to build their kingdom's wealth Right. So you can Mm -hmm. build your kingdom wealth, but then also sustain. Right. And protect that wealth. And so you have people who are in different phases of their wealth journey. Right. You have some people who are just starting out. Right. They know that they have income coming in and they want to understand how they can pay off debt. And then you have individuals who are business owners and they want to level up and they want to understand what do they need to do to make sure that they have a business that can thrive financially, can grow and have different systems in there. So it's a large range, right, when we talk about yeah. discovery call. But the opportunity for the discovery call is for us to see what your needs are, where do you fall in that spectrum, and then to determine what service is best for you. Yeah. And so we have financial coaching. Um, we have um, financial couples coast, um, excuse me, coaching. We're about to come out with a six-week program um, for your kingdom wealth building, okay. right? That brings you through budgeting, savings, um, credit, debt payment plans. Like literally, your entire portfolio. You walk away with a plan for the next one year to three years on what your goals are. Right. Mm. And then in the near future, we're also going to have what we call a business finance accelerator for those entrepreneurs who have started. But, you know, they're tired of being in the spreadsheets. Right. Um, They they're looking to level up and they're looking to expand their businesses. But literally, they just don't have the infrastructure in place to be able to do so without driving themselves crazy with manual processes. So we have like literally this this span and Austin Kingdom is a DBA of Art Financial Solutions. So a lot of people don't know that because they see Austin Kingdom. That's the social lifestyle brand. But our financial solutions um, is an LLC. That's a corporation, um, uh, excuse me, a limited liability corporation that we had since 2011. And there we do financial literacy. We have consultations with organizations, small businesses. Um, We were going into the school systems to do training. And we talk a lot about treasury, right? So from a... Well, I'm the queen treasurer. <laughs> but we talk a lot about treasury and the fintech, financial technical space, right? And certain things that you need to do so that you can um, level up your organization, small business, or corporation. So the in the, in the art... Financial fi- solutions, yeah. Art financial solutions mm-hmm. is actually something you mentioned in the book. Yeah. And what I saw that was interesting, too... Make sure y'all go and get that book to check it out yourself. Is that you actually um, itemize from that point till about 2018 mm-hmm. several cataclysmic <laughs> surgeries, <laughs> health thing that like yo mm-hmm. bugged out. Like yeah. when I tell yeah. you, it's giving me all types of 
yes, I can. Like, you think of Nutty Professor. Can. Remember when Nutty <laughs> Professor was like, with the big, fat, chunky fist on the table, and he was like, yes, I can. <laughs> yes, I can. Oh, yeah. man. Yo, no lie. You, you got to go and check this book out, y'all. Bless, not broken. And be sure to check out one of those discovery calls. Yeah. What I like is that it's, it's an inviting mm-hmm. opportunity first. Yes. That I don't put, like, you, you don't come have on the surface, like, this is what we can do. Mm-hmm. And now it's limited. Right. I, or I'm limited into what I think I can bring to you. Right. Yeah. What you're saying is, look, bring me your kingdom. Mm-hmm. That part. And then what do you... What do you want to become of your kingdom? Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. And let us work. Yeah. Exactly. And, and, and it's about discipline. Fine. It's about discipline. So one, one of the things that I always say, so in speaking of the discovery call, because um, we have people ask this all the time, people are like, why, why do you charge for your discovery call? Because it's a commitment. My time is a commitment. Mm-hmm. Your time is a commitment, right? Yes. And so it's about committing the, the time, which lets me know that you are serious. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And then those funds go towards your service, yeah. right? So um, I think that when you're in a space of business, people, you want to attract people who are either business-minded or they're ready to level up. Right. Um, And so the discovery call, when we get people in, they're ready to work. And that's what we want. Right. We want everybody's time is precious, but they're ready to work because they're looking for a change and they know that we can pour into them. Mm -hmm. But they have to do the work. It's 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 no different than when you sign up um, to go to the gym. Right. You have to Mm -hmm. put something down. Right. And that is your commitment to say, I'm going to show up. Mm-hmm. I'm going to show up. I'm going to do the work, right? Anything wow. that you want to be successful in, you have to put your mind to it. And so it's it's important for people to understand that because when you're not in business or when you're not serious, you can waste a lot of time, a lot of time. Mm-hmm. But when you are, right, you know that you're going to put in the work, you're going to be disciplined, and you're going to be able to reap the benefits of what you're trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Discovery calls. They cost money (laughs) so we can make sure y'all serious. Yeah. You understand? Because I can't be more serious than you. You, you take That's serious. basically what she's saying. You take serious what you invest in. I can't. I can't. the, 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 The Austin kingdom can't be more serious than your respective kingdom. Do y'all get that? I, I mean, don't think people get that. Like, people like, like you can't, you can't want more for someone than they want for themselves. Than they want. For I tell themselves. my children that. Do I tell them with that, with that, with academics, with love? Yep. Mm-hmm. Daddy loves you, mm-hmm. but I need you to grow to a place where you love you more than even Daddy loves you. Absolutely. You have to do want it more for you. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, mm-hmm. and it's it's so important that you say that because I think there's this notion that. Um, you have to push, 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 push your children, or you have to push, 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 or even in business, you have to sell, sell, sell. Listen, listen, that's not the case, right? You're going to put out, and, and you're going to attract what you put out. Yeah. And at the end of the day, going back to the kids, I say that to our daughter all the time. You know, she she's in a private school, and it's a little bit more challenging, and sometimes she gets a little flustered. And I'm like, let me help you, because... I've been to, I've been to school. I know the studying uh-huh. habits. He's been to school. He knows the studying habits. Like we know, right? But when you don't take my advice, then all I can say is, okay. Well, we have our degree sitting up there. You let right. us know when you're ready. Right. 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 And that's just that. <laughs> yeah. So. And it's so amazing how sometimes like the resource is right there. So so funny you say that. It's, I mean, whew, look, this parenting <laughs> is a whole episode that, or three. Already. Already. <laughs> so funny you say that because the queen and I had a similar situation. Mm-mm-mm. Our daughter writing papers and I don't know how to do this and I don't know how to do that. And I'm sitting there like, okay, did you not read daddy's degree? Like, it's we do it's this. in the dining room. Like, you, you can see. <laughs> like, and then the queen, um, trying to write a paper, did... Did you not talk to your daddy? Like, did you? And she's, uh, well, uh, well, I don't. Uh, mom is, mom is out, right? She's, she's not at the, she's not at the uh, house. She went out, had some errands to run, things like that. 
And my daughter's like, oh, God. I guess I have to go to dad now. Like, I mom, mean, like, like, oh like, my, like, like mom's not here. I guess I got to go to dad. Guess I'll go to this bump on a log. <laughs> She's, I'm like, okay. Let me see what you have. What could he possibly know about writing anything? That part. Not it's not so that not that I'm a history education. <laughs> not, <laughs> not that I got my not degree. At all. Not, not, not at that all. I have an education degree. In, You're in only history. a dad. Like, not, like, not, not, like, not, that, not, not, not that I went to school for that. You're <laughs> only a dad. <laughs> I'm only a dad. <laughs> a dad. Like I'm only a dad. Not, I not think any, it's so funny. Not that I went to school to I mean, you know, like that was my purpose or whatever yeah. in life at that time. It's way yeah. different now, but you know, not that, you know, and history is my thing. I love to read. I love to write. Like, like yeah, I yeah. absolutely enjoy it. She sits down with me for five minutes. I'm like, show me what you got. She sits down with me for five minutes. She's like, oh, my God, Dad, why did I not come to you sooner? When can we do more? I have this thing that's coming. I, I have something like, next week coming up. Are you free? And you wonder. Like, you're just like, like. <laughs> and then you start to look at yourself and go, my kid. Right. So I'm that. That's a product of right. me. Was right. I like that? Was right. Did I? You start that making part. phone calls. Yeah. Right. I, was I'm I like, yeah. just tell me now. You gotta start I need catching to know, glimpses of yourself. Yeah. Does it Look, get better? Was I, was I that kid? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> interesting. So, and the dynamics yeah. of parenting is just interesting. So, as you come off the heels of sharing us a little bit about a discovery call business of what a little bit of what Austin Kingdom can do for other kingdoms and a glimpse in just what we're all going through with mm -hmm. this parenting dynamic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell me what's that thing the Allstate Kingdom is seeking to be successful at that is not mm. business, that's not entrepreneurship, that's not marriage, mm. that's not parenting. So individual. So what what what's the thing you wish to be successful at that is not anything to do with your marriage, parenting, or business. Go. Queen. Oh, don't you start. Don't you I feel like he's put the queen first and I love several it. Several times. And I love I mean, it. But I think he just be trying to buy himself time. Do, do, you, trying do, to buy, you, do you feel uh, me? He I'm tries like, to like buy you, himself time. He, he does it Cheers. so humbly. Look, look, yeah. I'll I do you I do him both a favor. Let me go first. Yeah. Let me go first. Please. Mm -hmm. Please. I found in the last two weeks, mm. maybe maybe the last month, I would say, I want to become better at seeing not my wife, because by the grace of God, I've gotten better at doing that year after year. Mm -hmm. I want to become better at seeing the needs of other people mm. that interact with me mm. um, and not being limited and simply, what's my take from the interaction? Mm, mm, okay. Yeah. I, okay. I want I want my 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 eyesight, my scope that's been so refined and keen in my home. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to carry that into the rest of the world. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Respect. That's dope. Queen. Hmm. So for me. Um, I find that I'm in like this season of uh, refining myself and rediscovery. Mm -hmm. um, and so I've always, for whatever reason, sought validation in a sense to know that I'm doing something right, mm -hmm. like good job. Mm -hmm. And that's what made me keep going because I'm getting this good job. Um, so something for me that I want to be successful in that has nothing to do with my marriage being a mom or anything like that is finding happiness and peace in myself mm. Mm. to know I'm doing a mm. good job. Good mm. job. I love that's that. that's wow. yeah. That's it for me right there. Mm. Self validation. Like Self validation. Yes. All right, I'll go because he's looking at me. Um, you looking like he looking like I need more time. <laughs> no, I'm looking like I'm about to wrap it up and have you be like, "Yo, mic drop." <laughs> um, for me, I think it's walking in my power. Um, very similar to you know self validation, but for me, it's you know I know I was put on this earth with an enormous purpose, 
And mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, one of the things that I've been struggling with for the last, actually, four, five months is that um, if if today was my day, as much as I feel like I've accomplished, as much as I feel like I've done more than enough, right, um, I don't feel like I've done what I was supposed to. I haven't served what I was called to on this earth. And I don't want to answer to God, right? I feel like if God was to ask me, did you do what I told you to do? My answer is no, Mm. right? So I feel like for me, um, it's walking in my power and being obedient to what I know. You know, something was said to me a couple of weeks ago, and it was so powerful. Um, They said, don't let what you see make you forget what God said. And don't let what you see forget make, make you, you forget, forget what God said. What God said. Mm-hmm. That's we, fire. We hear, we hear, and we know what wow. we're supposed to do, but we are wrapped up in our worldly selves. And so, for me, it's walking into the power that I know that God has given me to serve the purpose. And be obedient to what he has told me to do. Mm. King. I can't even mic drop on that. I don't, what? I, that's what I'm saying. I was, Girl, I I, that's why I look. I don't yeah, even like, know. I, gotta, like, I, can't even speak I think right you got to collect the napkins <laughs> after <laughs> that. <laughs> you could like. So I'm just about to grab a cup of water and be like, yo, next episode. That's, that's when the choir done thrown down and like the preacher get up there and be like, well, you know, God has moved. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you pass around the plate twice. <laughs> look, good, 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 good. Um. So, for me, I would say, um, just just personally, individually, and the queen has talked to me a lot about this and confidence, um, and I'm going to share it with the people because I, I feel it's worth being shared. Yeah. The queen always tells me that, King, I need you to be more selfish. Mm. Like, you always putting people first. You always trying to make sure everybody else is good. Like, you're the type of dude that'll go buy all the food, cook all the food, prep the food, serve everybody. And not get a plate. And not get a plate. And that don't sit well with me. Um, And I tell her, well, that's just my nature. Mm -hmm. You know, and for me, I think from an individual perspective, it's trying to identify how to be a little more selfish while remaining selfless. Mm. Mm. So I think that um, that's something that I'm embracing more to say, yo, you know what? No, I need this time for me. Or I can't help you with that right now it's not to say that i won't help you but i need to do this thing to make sure that i as a king can stay whole and intact Mm -hmm. and i'm not spreading myself thin to the point where i become frail and fragile right i'm a i'm a i'm a give you a little nudge king and give you this this mic drop a former therapist of mine gave me to help me in a season where I was struggling with that very same thing up against the backdrop of always trying to consider other people. Mm-hmm. And she said, her, her rebuttal to me saying, well, I just don't want to be selfish. She said, and if I ever changed my life, selfishness is not the same as self-interest. Mm. And when I tell you that was Got a it. jaw-dropping moment mm. of revelation for me, it changed my life. Mm. Mm. It's important. Very. I, was, I, I had never heard that. Yeah. I had, And I definitely never heard them side by side. I didn't know there was a, 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 a difference. difference. Yeah. yeah. I was literally interpreting all self-interest things as that's selfish. That's Mm. being selfish. Mm -mm. Nah. 
Those are two separate things entirely. Two yes. separate things. Selfishness is not the same as self interest. Salute the king. Salute the king. I love it. Uh, That's dope. Yeah. That's fire. Yeah. Y'all are dope. Yeah. Listen, Aww. we definitely gonna have to give y'all spoon feed this to you in in two parts, man. This this is gonna have to be Austin Kingdom episode part one, part two. Listen, so we are loving it. Y'all. We're loving it. So please tell the people um, where they can find the Austin Kingdom on social media and uh, or website location. What are the best sources for that? We're going to also have that in the episode description as well for those listening in. Where yeah. can we find you? So you can find us on Facebook at Austin Kingdom, A-L-S-T-O-N-K-I-N-G-D-O-M. You can also find us on Instagram at Austin Kingdom. And if you want to get in contact with us for any reason at all, you can email us at info at AustinKingdom.com. You dig? <laughs> Yo. And as always, if you're enjoying the content, if you want to catch glimpses of some of the Austin Kingdom foolery and some of those, like, side eyes <laughs> that was exchanged between in the studio <laughs> between the, the Austin Kingdom... You got to tune in and follow on the social media platforms. You only are going to get those visual content gems there. But for our audio listeners, please continue to follow us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, at Free Lunch, F-R-I-I, Lunch. Everywhere your podcast streaming is available to you. And be sure to pick up your copy of Blessed Not Broken, Volume 1. And if you get plugged in... And follow the Austin Kingdom when volume two drop, you gonna be the first to know because you plugged in. T- t- that's what that's the food of the plug. Listen. So when it's dropping, Love when it. the when the when the when the marriage, what was the what was the other book they they're supposed to be dropping that they're supposed to be working on? Oh, some something. When the when the bank account, the, the marriage I bank account. I love bank. it. I love it. They, we can't, we can't forget the bank marriage bank marriage. account. The bank of marriage. Bank of marriage. Some, something. Like something. Because I'm I'm we I'm here that. for it. Ooh. We need we need all of those. Okay. Move all over to Mike side because we got another Man. number one New York seller over oh, here. Oh, pour into it. Thank you. And and I love the fact that I imagine with the the discovery call um and we gonna wrap up after this the discovery call is only the first step it's a doorway it's a door but i imagine what i love about even the the network and connectedness that you have with other such amazing other wives and couples yeah. is that if there's ever such a thing that comes through mm-hmm. on the discovery call our listeners those who are interested tuning in that yeah. that they feel or that you feel as you hear their needs yep. would benefit from connecting them to the plethora of resources mm. and other networks that you're tied to. Absolutely. Preach. They could have access to that. Absolutely. Absolutely. What I we, tell you all the time, absolutely. what's my favorite statement to you? Iron sharpens iron. Yo. All the time. I'm going to tell, tell you how it is. I don't, I don't know already them reads some platforms and then and then the, the real freedom touch some states from just the plugs and resources I've gotten on 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 a discovery quote unquote not calls but just emails exchange <laughs> with with Miss Latoya Queen Austin. Okay. Thank so you, it's you. legit. I'm talking about paper receipts. Like uh, you you could look it up. You could Google it. You can and see the receipts. <laughs> it's a fact. Yeah. You want to stay connected, plugged in um to individuals such as this. So be sure to follow them at Austin Kingdom, Facebook, Instagram. Thank you. And give us the website one more time. It's the email, info at AustinKingdom.com. Yes. Info at AustinKingdom.com. Yes. Bless Not Broken, the CEO Wife.com as well. This was good. This, this was, was good. This was amazing. Yeah, this was. So first of all, we need to thank y'all. Listen. Appreciate we you. love what y'all doing, okay? Like, we, we love absolutely love. love what you're doing and keep doing it, right? So yeah. entrepreneur to entrepreneur, you know, 
sometimes sometimes you 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 think about throwing in the towel like mm-hmm. man it just might be easier to do x y and z but keep doing it because people need to hear right yeah. you're literally like you said you're feeding the soul you're absolutely and you Free food for the soul exactly and so people need to hear that this what you're building they need to hear that. They need to hear the guests that you're bringing in. Yeah. They need to hear what you're pouring in, right? Yeah. They need that energy. You're putting out good energy, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. The reason why we could sit here for two hours and it don't even feel like two hours is because it's positive energy, yeah. right? And it's just flowing through. It's flowing through. Mm. And so when that happens, take it and hold it and keep going. Yeah. Keep mm. going. People need what you're delivering, and this is amazing. We we are honored to be here, and I know I'm. I keep speaking. I'm at the king speak, but <laughs> not, I just I want queen, you all to queen know is, that the queen is on it, man. And trust me, like people are feel this energy. Mm-hmm. They they will feel it. Absolutely. Trust me, King. I'm 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 letting you know. Y'all here. Y'all yeah. doing it. That's you right. Know. I'm trying to get my flex back, yeah, man. As really soon as this, as soon as these wounds heal up, man. That's but yo, I want to end our episode uh, with with a mic drop, a quote from the Austin Kingdom. She wasn't even the queen wasn't even expecting this, but she sent me something. Um, she was just checking on you, checking up on your boy with you know the health scares or whatever, um, and I was you know telling her I was just you know being encouraged still, uh, but she said something that. That made me do like a triple take because mm. that means I've re- I've gone back to this this message three times now. Mm. Um, she said, "I'm gonna pull it up right here." Uh, she said, "Not to trade fear for burnout." Mm. Cause I was on that struggle to sit down king type way. Mm-hmm. That was those the vibes I was sending her. I didn't really, <laughs> you, I didn't calculate that Thank she was you, another queen, queen yeah. of another kingdom, mm-hmm. and she might have had. Sometimes we got check. This might, check. this yeah. might, this might not have been her first rodeo mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. hearing kind of rhetoric like this. Mm-hmm. Right. So right. I'm more like, you you know, you know, you know right. the power of God. I'm gonna be right. good. I'm out here hustling, right. grinding, and it's like. She heard through between the lines all that, all that and was like, okay, I hear you not scared, King. All mm-hmm. right, but don't trade fear for burnout. For burnout. Yeah. That part. Yeah. Neither one is good. I appreciate Mm-mm. that. No. Thank you for the mic drop. Austin Kingdom, y'all. It's free lunch with the real free. Peace. <laughs>